Landmark move that signifies Detroit's growing commitment to urban farming. Mayor Mike Duggan named the city's first ever director of urban agriculture. Tepfira Rushton is here with us now to share more on what this role means and what she envisions for the city. Thank you so much for being on with us this afternoon. Can Absolutely. you tell us a little bit about your responsibilities, what this entails? Sure. Well, uh, it's really important to the mayor that um, the process is to purchase land in the city for gardeners, uh, to permit property for gardeners um, is streamlined. And so that is um, pretty much a priority to me right now. Why would you say this matters to the city? You know, for people listening to this right now, yeah. what does it mean to them? Yeah, well, let me give some context. Yeah. So um, in the city of Detroit right now, there are over 2,000 gardens and farms. You wouldn't know that. We're like the mecca of gardens. Yeah, okay? you, think, you think concrete, you know? <laughs> right, you think concrete, you think concrete. But we have such an amazing opportunity in Detroit to reimagine what green space looks like in a city. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm excited about because most cities are just concrete. You're um, not able to see the trees, not able to see the flowers, and gardens provide um, that beautification for, uh, for, for residents, right? Um, they often are taking blighted areas and turning them into something that is really wonderful to look at. Um, as well as providing food access, right? So many of the folks who have been gardening, um, a lot of them were not going through the formal ownership process of that land. Uh, they were just taking a lot on their neighborhood. Uh, we all may have an empty a lot on your neighborhood and we're just gonna do a project and, and make it more beautiful. Um, and then they're three years in, they've invested money and time and sweat and they don't own the property. And maybe there's some pressure from development uh, to, to uh, that, that may get that property instead of them. And so we want to make it to where uh, we have productive green spaces by community residents, um, and they know the process. I can tell your passion runs deep, but what is your background in urban farming? I, I'm assuming you're not starting with this role. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I've been in urban farming in Detroit for 13 years. I'm really excited. Um, I started out um, around the time of that uh, blackout that we had in Detroit, mm. and it was really important to me to understand how to grow food for myself and my family and my community. Um, so um, I started on that journey. I started in the backyard with some carrots, and it didn't go good. Oh, no. <laughs> so if you don't have a good green <laughs> that thumb. That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Is you can always start. I say just start and you'll learn everything, something every season. I did do a formal uh, farm apprenticeship here in the city with the organization called Keep Growing Detroit. Um, and then, um, so I worked at a number of farms in the city in the nonprofit space um, and then um, have been working um, in land and policy for these nonprofits for a number of years now. So, what are your some of your priorities? What's at the top of the to do list? Okay, so <laughs> yes. Well, as you know, we just. Um, worked with the mayor to get a, an exemption for uh, gardens and farms mm -hmm. from the land value tax and hopefully that um, comes through with the city. So mm -hmm. right now the mayor is um, going to Lansing to make sure that the state understands what, what, what the needs are there. Um, but when it comes back to the city, we're hoping that the city uh, votes for that and um, baked in there is an exemption. Well, in order to get the exemption, you have to have the proper permits with the city. So one of my first priorities is making sure that the folks who have been doing this work are properly permitted so they can take advantage of that exemption, um, hoping that it goes through in vote in February. Uh, that's, that's, a, that's a major concern. I also, like I said, I wanna work on streamlining um, the process to purchase and um, permitting, <clears throat> which I've already been talking to some of the other directors at the um, city and really excited to work with them and dig into this problem. Um, and then I also would like to form an advisory committee of community members who can support me in what the priorities are for the community so I can stay in touch with that. One last question for you. We've covered this, what I would like to say was extensively food deserts. And yes. you hear about them globally, um, but certainly we see that in the city of Detroit. Yeah. What are some of the things you wanna do in regards to that to kind of counteract those food deserts? Yeah, yeah, well, I will say, we have a new term for food deserts. Okay, okay the I new, am all ears. Okay, the new I term. I am excited. <laughs> the new term is food apartheid because okay. we recognize that a lot of the the food insecurity that we have in our city mm -hmm. is um, it has been done to the city. So we have um, a lack of resources, a lack of uh, grocery stores. That's not by accident. It's not a desert is a naturally a natural occurring thing, right? So um, so we recognize that, um, and we um, I'm hoping that. Um, I mean, that is the point of, of 
community gardens and market gardens so that we can have more of a local localizing our food system is what we all need to be thinking about every city needs to be thinking about that food travels from here to there to there uh, using petroleum and all of those things that we're trying to reduce our use of um, and so the more that we can localize our food system the more food we can get from right here in our cities um, we have the space to do it and I want to I want to make sure it happens. All right, Tepfir Rushton, thank you so much for bringing that word to our attention. I will file that one away, <laughs> and, and thank you for taking time out. All right, take care. Thanks so we much for having it. me.